Okay, hello and welcome to this very short tutorial, which is aimed at people maybe like you. You want to make your images look better, so you get yourself a copy of Photoshop Elements. You install it, you open it up, and then you think, uh, oh no, now what? I have no idea what to do next. This is an absolutely basic tutorial just to get you over that initial brain freeze. Now I've just loaded up Elements. And this is what I've seen. If you come to the top, you can see I've got four little windows here. I've got eLive, Quick, Guided, and Expert. Now, when you first opened up, you may well have come to eLive and you think, well, that's not an image editor. All this is, is a specialized kind of web page from Adobe telling you, hey, look at all these great things we've got to offer you. It's basically telling you all the fun things you can do with elements. It's nice for staying in touch with Adobe, or rather it's nice for Adobe to stay in touch with you. But instead of staying here, maybe you want to get to some tools which will help you to improve your photos. So forget this page for now. You have this one, the quick mode. Now, a lot of people, when they first start, think, well, okay, I'm a beginner, the quick mode, that seems to be the best place to start. The way you would use it is you would come to File, Open, find a folder with some pictures in, and let's just try, say, Woodview 01, and click on Open. There's your picture. And then, if you come over to the right, you've got a series of adjustments. And you might be tempted to come to, say, Smart Fix, and it'll give you a series of choices inside these nine squares, which will adjust your picture in various different ways. You also have an auto button here. Now what that's doing, it's looking at various different things within your picture and deciding if it's too dark or too light or too green or too yellow or too red or whatever, and just trying to make it look a bit better. It feels safe. It feels nice because you're a beginner and you're not really sure what to do, but ultimately it makes sense that you try and use the tools that Elements has to offer to make a picture that you think looks better rather than what Adobe Elements thinks looks better. The same with all these controls. You have various different controls. Exposure, that controls how dark and light things are by a simple slider. The lighting, you could try adjusting the shadows, the midtones, the highlights. Like with this one, you can try and reduce the amount of highlights there are. If you come to shadows, you can try lightening the shadows using this. You've got various different controls here, but really, you're just moving sliders around and hoping you're going to find something better without necessarily getting an understanding of why you're doing it. Now, as part of this tutorial series, I do have five five minute videos all about the five steps I recommend any beginner learn in order to improve their photos. They're all part of the same series and they're just waiting for you to take a look at. In the meantime, can I put it to you that really the quick mode, although it looks nice for beginners, maybe it's a better idea to go into the expert mode where you get all the tools that Elements has to offer and you learn how to use those tools. And once you know why you're using the tools, then if you wanna go back into quick mode, you can do so, but also you do so with knowledge. So remember, check out those five videos, five steps to improving your photos. As for this, I wanna take this back to its start point because I did adjust it. So one thing I can do is come up to window, history, look, those are all the changes I made to my image inside the quick mode. And if I just come and click on this one, I can roll right the way back to the start again. And let's just get rid of this window. Okay, so now we're here in expert mode and this is where people really begin to panic because they see all these tools down the left-hand side. Also, you've got various menus with lots of different items in there and you're thinking, oh, what do I do now? Well, look, here's the good news for you. It's an old saying with a lot of programs, and especially with more modern ones, which have more features in, that you spend 95% of the time using 5% of the tools. You have all these tools down the left-hand side of the screen, but for a lot of photos, you don't do much with them. You go through a process of adjusting your photo in various different ways. Like for example, supposing I wanted to crop this image so that it looked a little bit wider. Well, I can do that. I can come down to this tool, the crop tool, or press C on my keyboard, Little tip for you, the more keyboard commands you learn, the faster you will work. So I'll click on the crop icon and you can see I get this box. And if I move it around in various different ways, I can resize it like this. And then when I'm happy with the overall composition, and that's everything that appears inside this clear box, everything on the outside, everything which is grayed out is going to disappear. I can click the green tick at the bottom right of the crop box and 
there's my image cropped. And if I want to look at it a bit bigger, I can come to my magnifying glass at the top or the zoom tool, then come down to the bottom and press fit screen. That makes the image as large as possible within the main image viewing area. Now in the next video, I will be telling you about things called layers and what they do, because it's something that does confuse a lot of first timers. But for now, let's try doing something else to this picture. Let's come up to enhance, adjust lighting. Ah, let's come to something called levels. Now you see this thing here? I've got a little box with one, two, three different triangles at the bottom. These triangles are actually sliders. They can move around and I can use them to adjust the dark and light inside my picture. I will show you what I mean. If I come to this middle one, this adjusts all the midtones of my picture. And if I move it around, you can see my picture gets lighter or darker. So, maybe make it a little bit lighter here. These ones on the end, take this one, the black triangle, that adjusts how dark the picture gets. So if I move that in a little bit, you can see the darker areas are getting darker. They're getting quite black in a lot of areas, but the lighter areas are unaffected. Same thing, if I come over to my white slider and drag that in, you're gonna see the lighter areas getting a lot lighter. In fact, you can see a lot of areas, say this tree trunk down here, are gradually becoming a blank white because I, let's face it, I've pushed this a little bit too far, I think. So I can move the slider back again. I can move this one back again, try and even things out. Then if I click my OK button, I've adjusted the dark and light. I can do the same thing with how yellow or how green or how red the picture appears to be. I can do various different things, but these are the kind of things you do to your picture. Use the tools down to the left hand side, use the menus at the top. And then when you're done, you might come to file, save as, and then tip number one, I call this Woodview01. I do not want to overwrite that file. I want to keep my original files intact. So I might save this as say, Woodland01 edited and go with that. But I want to keep my originals intact. Click on save. I get asked how high quality do I want to save it as? I'll save it as maximum quality. Click on okay. And that's my new file. I've changed it in a couple of different ways. Now, the first thing I did was to crop this picture and I think it looks better for it. Then I adjusted the dark and light. I'm not so sure I did a good job with that. Now, there are ways of doing this without permanently altering your picture. And that's by using something called adjustment layers. I will talk about that in the next video. And then after that, check out the five videos all about how to improve your photos. But for now, go on to the next video, which is called What is a Layer? And I'll see you there.